Here's Rich in uh, in White Plains, New York. Hello, Rich. Great to have you with us. Hey, Rush. Thanks for taking my call. Yes, sir. Um, Rush, there's a fundamental flaw in the debate process that's being overlooked. There's a conflict of interest when the ratings-driven broadcast network provides the moderators where the questioning is an issue-driven but intended to start infighting between the candidates or, like you said before, shine the spotlight on the moderator with their great but uh, uh, stupid gotcha questions. And uh, I think these debates should be conducted by Hillsdale College, National Review, or the Heritage Foundation and let the highest bidder in the universe of broadcast networks point the cameras and set up the microphones. The highest bidders... You mean as opposed to assigning it by some debate commission? Well, I'm not exactly sure how that would work, Rush. Maybe you would know better. I mean, if, if, if that were the format where, where they were independent, the, the, the people putting on the debate, and then how you would go about getting a broadcast network to... Um... Let, me, let me translate what I think you're really saying, and you tell me if I'm on, on, on the mark or not seems to me your real point is that we wouldn't even be talking about this if it weren't for the fact that debate moderators end up being so damn important to this process That's when they exactly ought right, not right. be. Absolutely. You got it. You got it. That is exactly right. That's why I sit in this chair, folks. I am <laughs> they make that complex understandable. Uh, it's a, and it's a good point. I think, I think your point reflects the thinking of a lot of people. I know my dad... My, you know, my dad was, he lived and breathed this stuff. And he, he had the same attitude you do. Why are these people, why does it, why, he, his idea, put blindfolds on the media people. We don't we even know who they are. They, they should just be in the background. Anybody can ask questions we want them to have the answers to. But they become as important as the candidates. That's part of the game, folks. That's the rule, because it's showbiz. Don't forget, this is, as much as we might want to think that civics and public responsibility and the issues of the day and finding the best candidates, making sure that we are best equipped to deal with the evil in the world that opposes us and the right economic policies, don't forget that before we get there, we have to make sure that the noted stars get their due along the way. Candidates, media people, moderate, you name it. Endorsers. I'm not trying. No, no, no. It is what it is. That's why you have to wade through the noise here. That's what I mean by making a complex understandable. It's a, it's a great point that he's raising.